Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and I'm very excited to have all of you in my channel. Today it's going to be the men's turn. I know that I have a lot without making a break for them, but well, here is your opportunity. I will show you how you can make an egg, a color like this one, and how you can make the winter set with these gloves. Look at them. You can use a computer, you can drive, are very useful, I'm, I'm sure that you will love them, okay? Also, as a woman, you can use them too. So, this will be the first part. First, I will show you how you can make the gloves, and then the next Wednesday, I will show you how you can make the neck. So, stay tuned and see you the next Wednesday to complete this men's set. Now, it's their turn, and first, I will give you the material list and then I will show you the step by step of how we can make the gloves. Well, for this man set, we are going to need 200 grams of show alice. It's a fine material in this color and one hook of number 4 and one hook of number 10 for the neck. If you want to use the same materials that I use in all my videos, here I will leave all the information. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Hello, I have a big announcement to make. I want to share with all of you that now you can download and you can buy all my magazines in this new app of My Ideas. Just you have to download the app of My Ideas and there you can find all the different numbers and all the different volumes that I have made with this amazing editorial. You will see that this amazing magazines are so easy to follow. Remember that these magazines are written by me and I share all the diagrams so you can follow and clearly make these amazing projects with me. So please don't miss it and download all the magazines. Okay, with one thread and with our hook of number four, we are going to make chains. We are going to make chains all around our fist, okay? It has to fit on it. I'm going to make 30 chains for an adult. Well, at the end of the 30 chains, we are going to close in circle. Try to not twist, okay? This will be for an adult, but if you can measure the fist of the person that you are going to make this project, well, you should uh, try them first, okay? Well, then chain two and we are going to make in each stitch we are going to make a double crochet of two crochets like this again grab your yarn insert your hook and a double crochet and we are going to continue like this the whole row at the end we are going to count that we must have 30 well, at the end of this row, we are going to close in circle like this and we are going to continue the row in relief. We are going to insert our hook from the back and one double crochet, grab your yarn, and then we are going to take it from the front. I mean that we are going to insert our hook, we are going to put it in front and then from the back that we are going to insert our hook from the back and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row one from the back and then the hook from the front okay then at the end of the row we are going to close in circle again and we are going to repeat the series we are going to insert our hook from the back and a double crochet then from the front and like this I will do it again so you can see how it is. We are going to continue repeating this row and this series until we have as many rows as we want for our wrist. Look at the end I made eight rows. You are going to count them like this one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well, now for the second part of our clothes, we are going to make half double crochet in all the spaces, okay, in all the stitches. And in some of them, we are going to increase. So this is how we make the half double crochet. Insert your hook. So here we have three, four, five, and in the sixth we are going to make two half double crochet together. And again, one, two, three, four, five. And index six again, do have double crochet together, and like this the whole row. At the end of the row, we are not going to close, okay? This is the only row where we are going to increase stitches. The other rows we are going to continue with the stitches that we have. For the second row, we are going to make rib stitch. This means that we are going to make single crochet, but only taking the back part of the chain so we can have this little pleat look we are going to take this part of the chain the back part so here we are going to insert our hook and rivet stitch this is the rivet stitch well we are going to continue making rows of rivet stitch with the same number of, of stitches we are not going to increase okay we are going to keep the stitches that we have and we are going to make as many rows as we need until we arrive here, okay? So you should measure or you should calculate how many rows you will need. Look, we are going to count the rows like this. This will be one from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And with this thread, it's where I start and where I will finish, okay? So here I made more uh, stitches and now we are going to make the uh, space for the thumb. I will show you how. I went to measure the hand of my son and this is how it looks on him, okay? So at the end I have to make more rows for his head. So here is where I'm going to close to make the thumb and then we are going to continue making more rows for the other fingers. So for his thumb I already counted and we are going to skip 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and in the tenth we are going to insert our hook and we are going to close. So we are going to take the stitch from here, we are going to insert our hook in the other side and we are going to close. Later on we are going to make more rows here in the thumb, but for now we are going to continue making more rows for the other fingers, okay? I will make them and at the end I will tell you how many rows I made, okay? So we are going to continue making rows. At the end we are going to make some rows for the thumb too. Remember that we made 11, then we skip 9 and in the 10th we insert our hook to make the thumb and then we continue making more rows. Well look, sometimes it's a little bit confused when you have this little hole here, but the only thing that we are going to make is that we are going to continue, okay? Look, we are going to take the stitches like this. So we are going to try to find the stitches where we are going to continue. And like this is how we are going to skip the top. So we are going to continue making rows, or more rows, as many rows as we need for the other fingers, okay? Look, at the end I made four rows and this is the rows that I need, okay? At the end you can make a grab stitch 
to uh, make the final touch but I ask him and he doesn't want so I will leave it like that because at the end these are for him so well here I'm going to pull and I'm going to slip one stitch to close the row remember that at the end we have to hide these little threads with our hook like this well I will hide it to teach you how we are going to hide these threads and we are going to uh, follow the same instructions for the other cloth okay remember that this is the first piece of our pair of gloves if you want to make these gloves bigger if you need to make more rows well you will need more material okay because with 100 grams I made these gloves I exactly made these gloves so you will need more if you want to make them bigger well for now we are going to continue with the rows of the thumb and we are going to make one row of single crochet I already measured it and I think that I with one row it will be okay okay but please make sure and if you are making these gloves for your special one for your boyfriend or for your husband or for your friend well measure it if you can well measure it and make sure how many rows you want you will need in this case I will need just one row okay so we are going to continue like this until we arrive here and look I already get ahead I have the other piece of this pair of gloves and look to this glove I made crab stitch and it looks good but as I told you well you will need more, more material because I don't have too much to make to the other glove so I think that I will leave it like that but well if you like you can make it and remember that for this pair of gloves you will need exactly 100 grams of one skein of yarn if you will need to make more well you will need to buy more material remember that we are also going to leave the 100 grams that I ask you for uh, to make the collar to make the neck and remember that you have to make the same exactly number of rows and stitches to have your pair of gloves okay so let's continue well here I continue and if you want to learn how to make the crab stitch well remember that it's like single crochet but backwards this is up to you okay remember that before you make this final row you should ask them if they may like it or not in this case my son said no so I'm going to respect his decision but I wanted to show you like what is the crab stitch and how we can make it okay well with this well, we finished the first part of this men's set remember that the next Wednesday I will show you how we are going to make well this is how it looks the crab stitch and with this will be finished but well with this will be finished now let's see how it looks please if you make them that take a picture and tag me well so what do you think I hope that you like it remember that the next Wednesday I will show you how you can make the neck the collar to complete this men's set the next Wednesday I will show you the second part so stay tuned please if you like it and if you make this beautiful set please take a picture and tag me and if you are watching this video with your family I hope that you have enjoyed all the holidays and I think that this will be a perfect gift for all the men's audience that I have I know that I have a lot and I will make more breaks for them well don't forget to subscribe Thanks for watching this video and see you next Wednesday. Bye! And please don't miss the next weekend video.